So for today, we're going to be looking at week seven. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the week so that way we can look at the challenges, Eververse, 801, all that stuff. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I didn't have last week's because it was just so busy. Not only that, I went to Los Angeles and I am just I just came back like literally yesterday. So we are going to go back to all of the weekly stuff. So expect the weekly challenges, the story. I might have two videos this week because I didn't do last week's and I have to do this week's and expect the last call videos as well not only that i'm posting a lot more content as well all of the armor videos that i said i was working on i'm finally pushing them all out and i also have a lot of other content that i'm working on as well specifically like a lot of uh like dialogue heavy specifically more so just like talking about like the state of the game and just other stuff like that so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it hit the bell notification to keep up with my current content because i do think my content is worth it other than that wish seeker six seven 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 <laughs> complete week seven of wishing all the best this is literally not hard just complete the story if you are behind like i am then this should be a good way to track where you're at because once you complete this then you'll know obviously okay i'm done with week six and then you'll be on your track to complete week seven swift dispersal rapidly defeat combatants in ribbons layer or the coil gain additional progress from final bolts within the coil additionally collect wishing glass shards in the coil yeah so i guess it works retroactively from shards not so much from rapidly defeated which is completely fine um for me i just have to do the uh, rapidly defeated which is not hard at all on a whim acquire chivalric fire this is the new uh playlist weapon i'm not the biggest fan of it um it's in like i i think it's cool but i definitely am like very underwhelmed Dragon's Defender 5. Defeat targets with trace rifles or linear fusion rifles. Gain additional progress from Guardian Final Blows and Final Blows within Riven's Lair or the Coil. <clears throat> this one you can double dip due to trace rifles and linear uh, fusion rifles. The only thing is I would most likely do a special trace rifle and then a heavy linear. You could do just a linear uh, rifle for your primary a trice rifle for your secondary and then another linear if you want to do that but honestly a lot of people are just going to get this casually uh ex expedited violence rapidly defeat targets in crucible gambit or vanguard bonus progress is granted for guardian final blows i would do this in gambit or crucible depending how much that um that bonus progress is for gu guardian final blows if not i mean you can just kill time in vanguard honestly weight of dreams get final blows with weapons using heavy ammo and ritual activities earn bonus progress for rocket launchers final blows or by defeating guardians literally you can double dip with this one flourish of power defeat guardians in mayhem playlist with super abilities not hard because play mayhem is absolutely buck wild darkest nightfall complete any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher bonus progress is granted for completing nightfalls above hero difficulty Hero is the one that is matchmate, so this one's not hard at all. And then mid-range calibration, calibrate mid-range weapons, hand cannons, glaives, auto rifles, fusion rifles, and machine guns. Bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians. Not hard at all. Um, you can't double dip with uh, with this one, unfortunately, but I don't think that's really a big problem. You can double dip with this one, but yeah, a lot of these are pretty, pretty simple. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be looking at 801 for this week. We're going to be looking at gold leaf hmm, interesting so gold leaf i don't remember if i like it or not it looks cool with this it definitely looks cool with plate armor let me just say that so i do apologize my frames are pretty low but i have a bunch of stuff on right now i'm currently rendering the year three hunter pieces which is going to go up today so probably before this video just because uh that one i'm already rendering and i'm going to put it up immediately but the shader looks pretty cool we have a new Pacifica Rush. Not gonna lie. Um, I like the plate armor color. I think the blue and white is super cool. I think it's the the cloth color that I'm not a big fan of. And then new Monarchy Regalio, which is one of my favorite shaders in the game, probably. If, I'm, if it's... Yeah. The Iron Man colors are just so good, bro. Red and gold. I'm so happy, so, so thankful that they brought them back. Just because they are really good. 
And then for the armor pieces, it's going to be these. It's going to be the chest pieces for all the classes, the uh, scorn pieces, and then the weird helmets, helmets that everyone got. I'll show you those two in collections, but the class items I'm not just because... Well, I'll show you the memory of Kate, but these two not because they're just basic bitch um, stuff, items. So... Yeah, I would probably recommend the chess piece for the Warlocks. Let's go look at that one real quick. I think it's in World, if I remember correctly. It should be because it's not part of an art. Uh, that's right here. So, yeah, this one right here, I think it's so fucking cool. It's one of my favorite pieces for the Warlocks. Just because it gives you this, like, almost... Oh, um, what is it? What's it called? Uh, like a fanatic look, which... And not I don't mean, like, a fanatic, like, in-game. I mean, like, like, just the real world. Like, you look like you part you belong part of a cult which is really cool this is also the helmet which i'm not the biggest fan of just because it looks goofy but i mean if you like it more power to you dog but yeah i think it's look it looks stupid and then for the memory of Cade one it's literally just this which i'm not the biggest fan of like it doesn't look terrible terrible but it looks boring uh titans yours is pretty cool too especially since you guys actually have two scorned ornaments which would look really good with this one and that's the only reason i would recommend getting the chest piece for all the classes just because you might never know when when we get a really cool scorn piece titans again you have two of them i'll it will show you right now actually just so you guys are made aware because some people might not know and i definitely think they look really cool so one of them is going to be kite and ramparts i think this one is probably the cooler one just because it's it looks cool yeah the the scorned fortress which looks fucking just metal and the other one which was kind of like not expected for me was a uh, point contact brace which doesn't look terrible like i genuinely do like it yeah so titans just make sure that you pick that chest piece up because again you guys actually have really cool pieces to combine it with uh for the oh i should probably go look at that yeah for the mark the memory of Kate it's one of my favorite marks for just like a casual look just because it's a belt with this right here it's so cool and again I've made really cool sets with this one for the helmet it's like the the Black Panther one at least that's what, what we called it back in the day when we first got it doesn't look terrible it looks pretty cool I just never really care for it to be quite honest and the hunters uh, again chess piece I'm not the biggest fan of it. I will say though, just get it. You might never know when we get a scorn piece that's gonna look really cool with this. Um, for the cloak, not the biggest fan of it either, specifically because uh, it, it's the same cloak from um, Io, the Io planetary armor, which is why I was like, ah, whatever. It's not that great. I really wish they had chosen another cloak, just because the Io one, I'm not the biggest fan of personally. And then for the helmet, fucking goofy, bro. It is absolutely goofy, and I hate this helmet so much. That being said, I've, I've not seen anyone make a cool set with this, so if you want to prove me wrong, definitely let me know. But that is pretty much it for Ada. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. <sighs> As for Eververse, I'm not, gonna, I'm not the biggest fan of what she's selling this week. That being said, if you are interested, not that, if you are interested season of the undying items are back so the phenotype plasticity stuff for all the classes are back um i want to be happy for you guys but because this is like 20 bucks each on top of everything else i just can't in good conscience say this is a good deal because it's really not if they really wanted to like if bungie really wanted to like help you guys get all of the armor and be super nice they would have just sold the season pass again for 10 bucks and let you level it up on top of these like they could have had uh something at the bottom right here where it says season of the undying and then when you click it it would actually show you like this like the season of the undying uh season pass because i think that would have been way better i think people would have appreciated it more but because they're selling it for 20 bucks each just for the armor that's 60 bucks right there and then in case you wanted other stuff i don't even know how much these are but they're probably regular priced yeah it's right there actually Oh, it's 15 bucks. That's still terrible. <laughs> it's like 12 bucks for Clash of Swords emo. 8 bucks for the Belgian flying kick. Never live it, live it down is 800, 700 for the skin. Like, that's terrible, bro. Absolutely terrible for something that I paid 10 bucks for. But for Eververse 44 steel, I actually think the shader is pretty dope. Yeah. 
This is definitely really, really cool. I would definitely pick this one up. Uh, Chrome stock. I'm okay. Like, this, it's fine. I definitely would still recommend picking it up because this is from Season of the Drifter, which was a while ago. Uh, Swirling Leaf Entrance. Hmm. Exo... Exosporangian? Exosporangian? Sprangian? Whatever. Uh, drum roll. And then for some stuff at the bottom, we have Whaler's Whim. I love this ornament. It looks so cool. Definitely pick this one up. Uh, assemble, assembly Rider. Man, I feel like they sell these pieces so many times, bro. Wave Rider. What is this? This doesn't look fucking terrible, dude. Like, it, like, it looks pretty cool. That's a shader, actually. It looks like it shaders pretty well. Aside from the fact that I think the, okay, never mind. I was gonna say I think the like the, the this the glowing bits don't change color, but it, it looks like it does. Hold on, what's a good? Yeah, it does. That's really really cool. I actually I'm thinking about getting it. That being said, it, it shaders really weird. So I'm seeing colors that shouldn't be there, or colors that are, are not even there. Like for example, Dreaming Cast. There should be a green in there because Dreaming Cast the glow is green. Whatever. Uh, photovoltaic shell, which it's just a yeah, whatever's warrior stance. Fuck, no, motherfucker, that's cool. You guys don't know that's fucking how Goku, uh, like his stance, like in Dragon Ball Z, like early Dragon Ball Z, that's his stance. Oh my god, it's not forever though, or oh, whatever. I'll still get it. Red light, green light. Oh wow, that's cool. Uh, you you activate the red light. That's cool. Cannon fodder. This is a while ago, dude. Season of the Splicer. Box of tricks. I'm not even gonna try to say that fucking thing. And then for the shaders, transcendental ambition. The only reason I like this shader, and I would never wear it, but because I like the reason I like it is because it changes when the sun hit it. It kind of reminds me of the the shaders from, or not shaders, but the coloring from like Needs for Speed Underground 2. Some of the colors like change depending on well how the light hit it, which is really cool. Boreal Char, a shader I actually do recommend if you like green, just because I know it looks bad with the white, but when you combine it with a good green, it looks really good. Uh, carbon. Carbon Blood, which is a really good black, red, and white. Uh, the only thing that sucks is I don't like the white personally. And then uh, First Light. Which, meh. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Um, I should also probably answer something real quick. The reason I have this weird looking <laughs> set is because it's supposed to be a Vex themed set. But unfortunately, the uh, ornament's still not for sale. Because this is how it would look normally. Which I think looks amazing, which is, I still haven't made the exotic ornament uh, video, which I still am working on that as well. It's just, we got a lot of armor this week or this season, I should say. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am currently working on, like I said, armor videos. Uh, I'm working on some shader videos as well, but most specifically, I'm just like, honestly trying to catch up on everything that I've missed out. Still nothing, huh? Okay. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will be working on Iron Banner, the shader, because I obviously because I went to LA, I didn't have time to play Iron Banner. But next Iron Banner, I will be getting the shader and making <gasps> making the video. Excuse me, making the video just showcasing that shader because if I remember correctly, actually, you know, we can just look at it right now. Let me go flare activities. Let me see real quick. I don't remember how the shader looks. Biochrome Oasis. I'm assuming it's this one. Ooh, not terrible. I've definitely seen worse Iron Banner shaders, but I want to see how it looks on an Iron Banner armor set. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. If you guys want to see any content from me, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get started on it. Other than that, be safe and I will see you guys later.